Included with Cloud Manager Image 9 is a new command line utility to automatically upgrade people tools on the Cloud Manager instance. Once Cloud Manager is updated to Image 9 using selective adoption, use the command line option to start the people tools upgrade and monitor the upgrade status. First, subscribe to the People Tools download channel for the People Tools version specified in the Cloud Manager release notes. For Cloud Manager Image 9, the People Tools version is 85705. Then log on to the Cloud Manager machine using SSH and create a response file. The response file is in the JSON format and contains the Windows client and PUM target password information. This example shows all the mandatory values. Your response file may contain additional values that will override default values, for example, operator ID. You can then run the command line to execute the people tools upgrade. The command line requires the task name, operation name, and response file. In this example, the task is CM upgrade. The operation is execute and the response file is the path to the response file you created in Step 4. The command line for the People Tools upgrade includes operations to execute, retry, mark as complete, mark all steps as complete, and get status. Use the get status operation to monitor the People Tools upgrade. If a step fails, the status will show failure. You'll need to correct the failure and either retry or mark the step as complete in order to continue. In this example, validating input failed, so you would fix the response file and then retry the step. This is an example of the status showing success. Once Cloud Manager has been updated to Image 9 and is on PeopleTools 857, all future PeopleTools updates and patches are automated. This completes our discussion of the automated people tools upgrade on a cloud manager instance feature. To create a cloud manager instance on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, you first need to build a virtual cloud network or VCN, subnets that are either public or private, a route table, and security lists to define access rules and restrictions. The network setup may be tricky for those users who are not familiar with cloud networking, and if not set up correctly, it may cause Cloud Manager provisioning to fail. The automated script for network deployment helps users get started quickly and not get bogged down by network configuration. You can now use a network utility that sets up a VCN with the correct configuration for a Cloud Manager instance and provisioned environments. The process to create the VCN is automated. Run the utility from anywhere you choose, such as your laptop or a VM. Download the files to any system that has access to OCI services, install Terraform, extract the files for the network utility, and execute them to automatically create the required network setup and configuration. You supply the information for the VCN in a JSON formatted text file. The information for your Oracle Cloud Infrastructure account is mandatory, and you also have the option to change some of the parameters, such as the VCN and subnet names. This utility is intended to create a network setup so that you can get started using Cloud Manager quickly. Be sure to review and update the configuration so that they meet your company's business and security standards. Next, you initialize Terraform, which automatically downloads required plugins. Before you create the VCN, use the Terraform plan command to verify that the configuration is correct and make any needed changes. After creating the VCN, you can access it in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console and make changes as usual. The VCN that the automated network utility sets up by default includes a NAT gateway, route table, and DHCP options. There are subnets for PeopleSoft components such as Application Server, Process Scheduler, Web Server, and Windows Client in two availability domains, as well as security lists. This completes our discussion of the Automated Script for Network Deployment feature. You can now set up Cloud Manager on a private subnet in OCI. 
This makes access to Cloud Manager more secure. Your Cloud Manager instance still needs access to My Oracle Support downloads, OCI APIs, Terraform plugins, Python modules, and Oracle YUM repositories. Cloud Manager instances that you create in a private subnet do not have public IP addresses. To give instances in private subnets outgoing access to the Internet without exposing them to inbound Internet connections, you can set up a Network Address Translation or NAT Gateway. You can create a NAT Gateway with the Network Utility Scripts or through the OCI Console. In the OCI console, select the NAT Gateways link on the Details page for your VCN, and then click Create NAT Gateways. Supply a name for the NAT Gateway and click Create. After you create the NAT Gateway, create a route table. Select the NAT Gateway you created and fill in the remainder of the fields. Then set up the private subnet and specify that route table. After setting up the NAT Gateway, you can use various methods for setting up inbound connections, such as VPN or Bastion. If you don't want to use a NAT Gateway for any reason, you can also enable access to the Internet by configuring a web proxy. See the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Online Help for more information on these methods. This completes our discussion of the deployment of a Cloud Manager instance in a private subnet feature. The Lyft utility requires certain software to be installed in the on-premises instance where Lyft is performed. A new automated Lyft prerequisite install utility is available that automates and validates the installation of the prerequisites. Required installations include Python 3.6, some YUM modules, some PIP modules, and Java 1.8 on DB tier instance for RMAN. The automatic Lyft prerequisite utility is included in the Lyft utility. Download the Lyft utility from Cloud Manager and copy it to the on-premises environment. As the root user, you'll extract the utility to a temporary folder with full permissions and then navigate to that path. You can then run the utility using the use PSFT Lyft setup command. The utility will ask the user if the environment is a database environment. For a database environment, the utility will ask if the user wants to perform a lift using cold backup or hot backup RMAN method. This is an example of prerequisite applications needed for a hot backup RMAN database lift, which includes Java 1.8. After reviewing the applications, enter yes to confirm installing the applications. This is an example of an application environment. The system scans the environments and informs the user of the applications that will be installed. If installing the applications impacts the current behavior on the host, the user will need to exit the utility and install the programs manually. When all the applications are successfully installed, you'll get a message complete. You can list the files and view the logs that were created for the install. When you're ready to run the Lyft utility, the Lyft utility will verify that all the prerequisites have been installed. This completes our discussion of the Automated Lyft Utility Prerequisite Install and Validation feature. In Image 9, Cloud Manager delivers the Automated Backup and Restore Utility providing the ability to create a backup of the Cloud Manager instance and restore an instance from the backup. With this utility, you can backup data volume and necessary files on boot volume, and you can backup the boot volume as well. Use this utility to backup Cloud Manager data any number of times and restore from any backup. This utility is very useful to run before applying any type of maintenance to Cloud Manager. Oracle recommends backing up before updating Cloud Manager or upgrading people tools on the Cloud Manager instance. That way, if the update or upgrade is not successful, you can restore the current version of Cloud Manager using this utility. To run the utility, use an SSH client to log into the Cloud Manager instance as an OPC user. Change the directory and run the shell script CM Backup Restore. Use the dash H option for a summary of the usage and optional arguments. 
If this is the first time you're running the automated backup and restore utility, or if you want to run the utility with different OCI user credentials, you'll need to create the config file. The config file contains the OCI user ID, tenancy ID, fingerprint, and private key file path. The Create Config option will read the information from the database and display the values on screen. You can accept the values or make any necessary changes. To back up the data volume, run the utility with the backup option. The default volume type is block. As part of data volume backup, a necessary set of files on boot volume is automatically backed up and saved on the data volume backup. To back up the boot volume, use the volume type boot, or you can specify a backup name. To restore a Cloud Manager instance to a certain backup point, you need to restore both the data volume and a set of files on the boot volume backup. First, restore the data volume using the Backup and Restore utility. Then restore the boot volume files using a set of commands provided to restore the files from the backup and set appropriate ownership. This completes our discussion of the Automated Cloud Manager Backup and Restore feature. You can now create a regional subnet in the OCI console, and Cloud Manager will be able to deploy PeopleSoft environment instances on these regional subnets. A regional subnet is a subnet that is not specific to a particular availability domain. It can contain resources in any of the region's availability domains. Oracle recommends them because they are more flexible. After you create your VCN in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console, click Create Subnet. The option, Regional Subnet, is selected by default. Supply the name and other information, and click Create. After creating the Regional Subnet in the OCI console, you can select it when you configure an environment template in Cloud Manager. On the Select Topology step, click Edit Custom Attributes, select the VCN that includes the Regional Subnet, and then select the subnet. This completes our discussion of the Cloud Manager support for OCI Regional Subnets feature. <music> Cloud Manager Image 9 requires PeopleTools 857, which uses Python 3.x. If you have any custom Python scripts, be sure to review them for compatibility with the new Python version. Update those if necessary and then re-upload by clicking the repository tile on the Cloud Manager homepage and selecting Upload Custom Scripts. Upgrading a Cloud Manager instance to Cloud Manager Image 9 will upgrade the Python binaries, and all of the Python code in the managed instances will also be upgraded. A syncing mechanism replaces all the Python code in the managed instances to ensure the instances can be managed by Cloud Manager continuously. This completes our discussion of the Python upgrade from 2.7 to 3.x feature. <music> Cloud Manager now supports deploying Visual COBOL. The new COBOL DPK includes both Server Express and Visual COBOL. Whenever you're deploying an environment with a PeopleTools version that supports both types of COBOL, you can select which COBOL compiler must be installed in your PeopleSoft environment. You can save Server Express and Visual COBOL licenses in the Cloud Manager Settings page. Enable Visual COBOL by selecting one of the three license types. To deploy COBOL while provisioning new PeopleSoft environments, enable it in the topology. The COBOL option can be enabled for either a full-tier node or a middle-tier node with Process Scheduler enabled. Indicate Yes in the Features section of the Edit Node modal window. When you create a template based on a topology that has COBOL enabled, you need to select the COBOL compiler type. You can now use this template to deploy an environment with the chosen COBOL type. This completes our discussion of the MicroFocus Visual COBOL Automation feature. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, 
and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.